أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته In this session, inshallah, we will look at chapter 15 in the book and chapter 15 focuses on the topic of the tashahud. Um, a tashahud is a supplication, it's a dua that is made as part of our prayers. Um, when we perform our salah, when we have completed our second raka'ah and we are sitting following our sujood, we recite the tashahud. We also recite the tashahud in the final raka'ah of our prayers, um, again at the end when we are seated following sujood. So if we're praying the fajr, we recite it just once and that's at the end of the second raka'ah. If we are praying maghrib, we recite it twice, once at the end of the second raka'ah and again at the end of the third raka'ah when we are seated following sujood. If we are praying the Zuhur, Asur or Aisha prayers, we recite it at the end of the second raka'ah and then again at the end of the fourth raka'ah when we are seated following sujood. The Prophet ﷺ would teach his companions the tashahud the way he taught them a surah from the Quran. He taught a number of variations of tashahud and the following is one of them. At-tahiyyatu lillah wa-salawatu wa-tayyibat As-salamu alayka ayyuhan nabi wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Assalamu alayna wa ala ibadillah as-salihin. Ashhad an la ilaha illallah. Wa ashhad an Muhammadan abduhu wa rasooluh. And we have this written in English letters. At-tahiyyatu lillah. Wa salawatu wa tayyibat. Assalamu alayka ayyuhan nabi. Wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Assalamu alayna wa ala ibadillah as-salihin. أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله. And what this means is all good wishes, prayers, and good words are for Allah. May peace be on you, O Prophet, and Allah's mercy and His blessings. May peace be on us and on all of Allah's righteous servants. I bear witness that there is no god except Allah, and I bear witness that Muhammad is His slave and His messenger. And it's important that we learn the tashahud, that we memorize the tashahud because it's an important part of our prayer and to be able to perform our salah correctly as uh, Allah has ordained, we have to know the tashahud. Um, in the final rak'ah of our prayer, after we have recited the tashahud, we also send uh, prayers on the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa um, and this is often done through a dua, which is known as the Salat of Ibrahim, uh, the dua of Ibrahim. Um, and these are used to send prayers on the Prophet The following is one of the forms of invoking the prayer on the Prophet before concluding the prayer. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala ali Muhammad. كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد اللهم بارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد okay. And we have this also written in English اللهم صلي على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد اللهم بارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد And this means Oh Allah, bestow your favor on Muhammad and his family as you have bestowed your favor on Ibrahim and his family. Verily you are the most praised and glorious. Oh Allah, bless Muhammad and his family as you have blessed Ibrahim and his family. Verily you are the most praised and glorious. And to be able to complete our prayers, we also need to, inshallah, memorize this dua also. 
So the exercises, num uh, part A is to memorize. Um, and number one, we're going to learn the two du'as, which we have uh, looked at in this chapter, inshallah, and uh, try to memorize these by heart. And then when you think you've done that, inshallah, offer two rak'as in front of your parents. The book says teacher. Um, inshallah, if you have a teacher you can perform this in front of, please do so in front of your teacher. Otherwise, your mother or your father or, um, you know, uh, an adult who can check that you are reciting it correctly um, at the right time, the right number of times. So offer two rak'as in front of them and say all of da's loudly so they can hear what you're saying and when you're saying it and then they can correct you if you have said anything wrong or if you're saying it at the wrong time or too many times or not enough times inshallah okay exercise part b what should i recite um, we have some pictures of a child performing salah and we're going to write down what he should say at each of these points in the salah okay so the first one, during sujood, when he has his head uh, on the ground in, in prostration, sujood, uh, what does he say? At this point in the salah, he will say, Subhana Rabbi al-A'la. Okay, Subhana Rabbi al-A'la. And you can say this up to 10 times. In the second position, he is seated. And in the seated position, we say the tashahud, which we have just learned today, inshallah. And if it's the final rak'ah of his prayer, he will also send the prayer to the Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wasallam, the dua of Ibrahim that we learned today, inshallah. Um, and then in the final, position, the position of Rukur, where he is bent, Rukur, uh, what will he say? He will, after he has said Allahu Akbar and entered the Rukur, bent down, he will then say, Subhana Rabbi Al-Azim. Okay, Subhana Rabbi Al-Azim. Um, so, inshallah, please try to learn the du'as, as these are important parts of the prayers, um, and they help us to perform these correctly. And inshallah, in the next session, we will begin chapter 16. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.